Yo, what's good, y'all? Uh, some gameplay. I went on a four-game winning streak with just a random dude. So, shit, that's in the background. We we was doing work as always. But y'all yeah, see the title? That's what I wanted to talk about. The whole badge system and the build system need to be redone. First of all, let's talk about what a badge is supposed to be. A badge is supposed to accent something you already have. If you're a good three-point shooter, maybe you can have something that helps you hit from the corner. Or maybe you can have something that helps you. What 2K has done to badges is they have made badges into a crutch. To where if your attributes say, I can't do this, a badge will come in and say, yes, you can. That's not what a badge is supposed to be. That is never what a badge was supposed to be. A badge is not supposed to be give you abilities that your attributes don't have or don't or say you shouldn't have. If I got a 60-something three, I shouldn't have Hall of Fame corner so now I can hit from the corner 100% of the time. That's not what a badge is supposed to do. A badge is supposed to say, hey, if I got an 83 or whatever, then yeah, let me get corner so now I could be, so now the corner can be my specialty. Same thing with dribbling, same thing with defense. I don't have good defense. I got a 6-3 offensive threat. I don't have good defense. But with that Intimidator badge, I can make centers miss. I can make centers miss. That doesn't make any sense. Then you got badges that are totally overpowered, like the Intimidator badge. How many times has everybody spoke about this? That badge is overpowered. Then you have badges like me with Steady Shooter and other shooting badges that I have every, let me put it like this. Every single video I make about badges or, or shooting or anything about 2K, I have a question somebody asks me, hey, does this badge work for you? Because for me, I don't feel like it does anything. Do not be fooled and think that there are not placebo badges in this game, AKA badges that don't do anything because they are there are rather there are definitely badges in this game that don't do anything so what they need to do is first of all look at all the badges what are the badges that people really want and what are the badges that people really don't want that's what we need to look at and take all those filler badges out of the game because y'all know y'all have filler badges in the game that don't do anything secondly the build system let's talk about that now i know i was playing 2k when demi guys existed nobody wants to go up against a seven foot person that can dribble like kyrie irvin and shoot like steph curry nobody wants that but 2k you guys have gone too far with it I shouldn't be, a, listen to me carefully. I should not be a 6'3 point guard. And in order for me to bring my player up to 6'4, my three pointer goes down two. I understand height threshold, but height thresholds make no sense when it's from 6'3 to 6'4 or 6'2 to 6'3. Now, maybe when I get to 6'8, if you want to bring my three down, okay, fine. Wingspan shouldn't bring your three down at all. These are the inconsistencies that I'm talking about. So much about your body shape affects whether you can shoot or not, but then I can go and get a badge that can help me shoot even though I have low shooting attributes. That's not how it should be. If I wanna make my wingspan long and still be able to shoot, okay, fine. Now I understand if I'm seven feet tall, I'm not supposed to be able to dribble. I'm not supposed to be, I mean dribble like a, a, a playmaker. I'm not supposed to be able to shoot like a shark. I'm not supposed to be able to make a seven foot tall offensive threat. But you have to give a little bit more leeway to the 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", hell even 6'6", people. 
You have to. If I'm making a 6'3 offensive threat, I shouldn't have to stay at 6'3 because, oh, if I go to 6'4 or if I make my arms longer, my three is going to go down three, four, everything like that. No. That is ridiculous. Some people, and I made a video about this. Some people say that badges need to go, period. And the, the, the angle that those people are coming from is that badges take the strategy out of the game i don't have to focus on attributes if i got a badge if i got a 73 i don't have to focus on okay um or 60 something three okay let me see what i can do to you know still be an asset to my team even though i can't shoot threes nope i'll just get a badge the badge distribution is horrible it's very very awful Badge distribution is terrible in NBA 2K20, and that needs to be fixed for 2K21. There needs to be fixed. You need to three things y'all need to do. Y'all need to take the new badge. I mean, take the filler badges out, the placebo badges, the badges that have no effect. They're just there to look good. Y'all need to fix the build, height, wingspan, as far as penalties for attributes, and y'all need to make badges. Uh, uh, make badges available to players whose attributes already speak to them having that badge. The badge system is not logical. It's not. I have an 87.3. Somebody with a 73 or under 73 should not have the same ba shooting badges I have. That makes no sense. That doesn't make sense. Listen, and I and I'm not and I'm not just complaining. I shouldn't have the same badges that defensive lockdowns have. If 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 I have bad defense, why should I have gold intimidator, Hall of Fame intimidator? Why should I have that? That makes no sense. Kawhi Leonard got Hall of Fame intimidator, and I got the same thing. Two K that that's illogical. You have to match the badges up to who they go to, to the corresponding builds. Badges don't make sense anymore. Everybody can have everything. If everybody can have everything, then you might as well take badges out. If everybody can have every badge, then take every badge out the game. Take every badge out the game. Also, builds. Please give us the option. We've been asking for this for years. Give us the option to make two different builds. One for offline and one for online. Now that's not difficult. That is not difficult. You can do that. And for my build offline, can that be the true rating? And what I mean by true rating is if I'm a 99, in, 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 in park or in my career and I put those same attributes in my in create a player it's only like an 85 that's ridiculous so give me an offline player that I can make if I want to make everything 99 cool there are some people that only play my career there are a lot of people that only play my career and don't go to the park at all there are a lot of people that only watch my career videos. That's the crazy part about it. It's people that only watch my career videos. You got to do more for the my career community. You cannot just ignore them. So basically, that's all I wanted to go through. I'm just, I was just, nothing actually happened in any of these games. I'm just looking at the badges and I'm seeing like, I, I didn't heard people say this badge don't do anything. That badge don't do anything. I'm wondering why certain builds, including myself, could have certain badges. Builds are supposed to be unique. An offensive threat is not supposed to have the same badges uh, as a, a lockdown. A rebounded lockdown is not supposed to have the same badges as an offensive threat. Come on, man. Now I'm I'm. I am a proponent of if you know your jumper, okay, you should be able to hit your shots. But right now, I can go into this game 
put my three all the way down. It's only it's it's an 87. I can make it a 80 or a 70, and I will steal green all the time. I'm not. A lot of people say that's not fair because that takes all the skill out the game. If that's the case, I might as well make a slasher, learn this jumper, and then I can play like a god. If it's supposed to be skill based, skill also means mental. If I know I can't shoot threes, I gotta find other ways to play, or I gotta be like, okay, let me. If, if I can shoot a three from the corner, or if I can shoot a three, have different three point ratings too. Corner three and three should be two different ratings. But I'm getting into a whole different stuff that, that can take me shit, 15, 20 minutes to get through. So that's what I wanted to talk about badge. Let me know in the comment section. Should badges go? Should they stay? Should they just be totally redone? And I'll hit y'all later. Oh, and watch the end of this game. This game was was very like clutch at the end it was very tight at the end so make sure y'all watch the entirety of this last game it's only like two more minutes and uh i'll hit y'all later